Luik Playball ist uns jetzt live zugeschaltet. Well, Luik, welcome to the show. Hi again. Hi again. We actually to you actually told us about um, that we're going to talk about Vampire Weekend, but at first we have to start to talk about a complete different band, a band I actually, mm, I'm a bit honest, I never was really into. We are talking about Portugal the Man. What kind of band is it? What do they have new? Um, so, uh, actually, I'm, I'm quite the same as you. Uh, I don't know many songs uh, of them, uh, actually. Uh, I just listened to the last single that I will, uh, I will let you listen to after this, uh, which is a part of their new album, in fact, uh, ju just released this year, and it was produced by uh, Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse, wow, this sounds, usually things that Danger Mouse is producing sound very electronic or in a way also a bit hip hop. So do you hear that in the sound of Portugal the Man? Yeah, uh, I just I just listened to the album uh, uh, in a friend's house, like uh, on, uh, on, you know, it was in his car on the way uh, on the road. With, uh, with the songs you could really feel the, the touch of, uh, uh, of Danger Mouse. Okay, so um, before we continue this, we have to listen to also Portugal the Man, eine Band, die schon wahnsinnig viele Alben gemacht hat. Portugal the Man, jetzt mit einer neuen Platte da, die unter anderem von Danger Mouse produziert worden ist. Luik hat das Ganze schon mal im Auto eines Freundes gehört und meint, ja, man hört das. Mal gucken, ob ihr es hört. Hier sind Portugal the Man. Just take that dark cloud, bring it out to wash them down, but don't pray for us. Actually, this is kind of an acoustic session we found um, of Portugal the Man. So, um, yeah, I think this is still, of course, the acoustic version. But in which way did Danger Mouse change the band? Do you know something about it? I, I really can't say because I'm not, I'm not a pro uh, uh, in the Portugal the Man uh, musical style. Not a pro in Danger Mouse uh, music style, but. When I when I really hear uh, the album, uh, I can I can feel the touch of the drum because of those um say, how how the music sounds. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really general. But I can't say much better because it's just there is a touch. Um, I, I feel uh, I'm sure you will feel it if you listen to the album. <laughs> Okay, also, das neue Album von Portugal The Man ist auf jeden Fall spannend. Man sollte es hören, Danger Mouse hat es produziert, aber nicht nur Portugal The Man sind wieder da, Vampire Weekend sind auch zurück. Vampire Weekend are back, which is actually very, very good, because I really like Vampire Weekend. But in Germany and also in the independent scene, Vampire Weekend, the new album, wasn't recognized that much, Luik. How is it in Belgium, for example? Is it big or is it not that big as the as the first albums uh, I must admit that there was no near uh, a big promotion uh, for this album and um, a lot of people told me that they don't really like this album uh, but I don't know why because re really when I listened to this album I, I thought it was amazing because of their work on the sound and uh, they you can you can hear they have fun uh, making this album and that's what I really like when I when I listen to it and um, in this in this album you know you have that uh, that sense of pop music uh, which is really uh, really important that's what I, what I really like. Also es ist interessante Popmusik, was Vampire Weekend da machen, auch wenn es auch in Belgien genauso ist wie in Deutschland. So richtig Promotion für die neue Platte gab es nicht. Man hat es kaum mitgerichtet, dass Vampire Weekend eine neue Platte gemacht haben. But actually, in the uh, American Billboard Charts, they topped on number one. So this is, yes, this is weird that in Europe there's no promotion at all. Aber wir gucken uns das mal an. Vampire Weekend hier bei Pop10. Luik empfiehlt es euch. Everlasting Arms von Vampire Weekend. Um, Luik, so this is again an idea of yours, what we should listen to. Maybe actually uh, Vampire Weekend is a very, very summer breeze sound. So maybe this could be a good summer soundtrack. So um, we put that on pop10.de. And um, do you have a favorite track of the new Vampire Weekend album? Is there one? Uh, 
Mm, ah, it's hard to choose. Uh, but for now, it's uh, Everlasting Arms. Everlasting Arms. Also, der Song, den ihr gehört habt, das ist der Favorit von Luik. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, and actually enjoy your summer day over there in Lash in Belgium. Alle Infos dazu kriegt ihr nochmal auf pop10.de. Da postet euch Luik die ganzen neuen Videos.